So you want to make sure that you avoid these specific products when you're drop shipping or selling on somewhere like Facebook Marketplace, for example, or eBay, somewhere where you're listing products and you run the risk of getting IP complaints or copyright complaints. Now, this is also important if you're drop shipping per se on somewhere like Depop or somewhere like Mercari, where you need to use review images or at the very least need to use pictures that don't look too stock photo-ish because I'm gonna show you how I basically find a lot of these listings with images on them already that I can just copy over using ZDrop super quickly to sites like Mercari, Depop, Facebook Marketplace, not Poshmark specifically for this case, and a number of others that look like high quality review images or at the very least don't look like they're too stock photo-ish. They look like I just took my phone took a picture of them myself and posted them. Now that's really gonna help you fly under the radar on a lot of these websites where you need to list products with images that you took yourself and you can't just use stock photos. It's also gonna help you fly under the radar on a lot of these sites where IP complaints have become a really big issue and it's gonna help you avoid them. So put simply, I'm just gonna run through some examples of how I'd find some of these. Now I'm on eBay, eBay is one of my favorite suppliers, especially for sites like Facebook Marketplace or Depop and Mercari especially. I do have some other top suppliers as well, but eBay's probably my favorite, honestly. So here we are on all the categories, and we're just gonna pick a random one. I'm gonna show you how I would sort this, how I would go through and actually find these products, and I'm gonna give you different examples of like, this is a good one, and this is why, this is a bad one, and this is why, this is why you should avoid this one, and it, you get the picture, right? So let's go to, um, I don't know, automotive air tools, and we'll go spray guns, why not? And now you see, if we scroll down, there's gonna be a bunch of different spray guns, right? But we don't want all these listings because if we go through and maybe list this one, for example, it might be in a different country. It might have an auction going, right? And so how can you filter this so that we can just go down a list and pick the ones out that we think have good images, and there's a high likelihood that they have multiple quantity because if we're drop shipping them, for example, or listing them on another platform, that's crucial because you don't wanna list a product that only has a quantity of one because if it sells, then you're never gonna be able to sell that again and you're just gonna run into future issues. So I'll go to all filters and the main three, you can play around with these a lot and kind of see what else you wanna do. The main three for me is I'll go new and new other if I'm drop shipping new items, of course. Now, another little caveat is often you can drop ship used stuff as well because there's next to no competition because a lot of the people selling used stuff are resellers of used stuff and not a lot of people are drop shipping used stuff. So it's gonna look like A, you're flying under the radar, B, you won't get any IP complaints because it's used and nobody else is doing that. So you're competing on specific products that nobody else is selling as a drop shipper, right? So that's another little caveat, but today we're just gonna stick with new and new other uh, and we're gonna drop ship some new stuff. So I'm gonna go to buying format because again, we don't want any auctions, so buy it now. Again, condition, new or new other, unless you wanna specifically drop ship used stuff. Buying format, I'm gonna go buy it now. So again, we can just click you know, order and we don't have to worry about any auctions and like time stuff. Item location is crucial because you don't want it to be you know, coming from a different location or a different country. That's gonna lead to a lot of issues. I used to forget to check this sometimes, especially when I used to drop ship on Facebook Marketplace a lot. And I would list a lot of stuff that came from like Russia or Canada sometimes. And my shipping times would be a lot longer. And then the it would lead to issues and the customers would get annoyed. And I'd have to kind of like play these games with them, acting like I messed up the order and I have to send them another one. Like you don't want to run into those issues. So again, make sure that your item location is checked US only, or at the very least your country if you're not drop shipping within the US. So then we're going to apply it. And that's gonna filter all these listings within automotive spray guns that fit those parameters, right? And those are the three main ones that I usually check off, but again, you can play with other ones. And now it just becomes a game of like, okay, what do we think looks like a stock image, right? Clearly a stock image right here, even though like someone took this and it's a white background that it looks like somebody took, it's too close to a stock image, right? We don't want that. This one clearly something we don't want because it has text in the image. It looks like it's a product listing picture. Same thing with this one, like ship same day. We wanna avoid all of these things. We're really after listings that look like they're good, right? Because we want the, the product to be displayed in a good fashion, but it looks like somebody literally took that themselves with a camera or with their iPhone. So as an example, this one kinda does, although it has a white background, but you can kinda see like it looks like a product photography picture. But just to be safe, like I'd probably stay away from something like that as we scroll down, 
A lot of these are all stock images. Like again, white background. You don't want any text like right here. None of these are things that I would really go after. Now this one you can see, if we open this, this one is a perfect example of one that it looks like somebody took themselves, right? So it literally looks like somebody took a picture of the box and they took it on like, I don't even know what that is, like pavement or something like that in the background. And so this would be a good image of something that we could drop ship. But does it have multiple quantity? No, it does not. So we can't drop ship that. And typically what I'll do is I'll have my VAs just sort like this and then they'll go down and select all the ones. Here's another perfect example. All the ones in order, like 10 pages deep in a category that look like they don't have stock images on them and they look like someone has taken them themselves like this and we'll right click open and then we'll continue to move through. And then as we build up like, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 of those tabs open in that browser, then they'll go back and they'll look to see, okay, does it have multiple quantity? That's the first thing in the checklist because again, if it doesn't have multiple quantity, there's no sense in listing it because if this person sells, we can never, we can never drop ship this product. It's pointless. So we don't want to do that. So this one actually looks like somebody took it themselves. If you look at this product picture, it looks like they kind of have it on the table or some kind of metal background of some sort. Now, another key caveat here is a lot of times eBay sellers will have branding in the image. So this would be actually a good example of something that you could drop ship because it's got a product picture that displays what the item is. It's high quality in my opinion, but it looks like somebody took it themselves. It's not too stock imagey. It also has multiple quantity, 10 available quantity. And this is an example of something that we would drop ship. Now, another thing I tell my VAs this, now, another thing I tell my VAs to keep an eye out for is, is their shipping? Because sometimes eBay sellers will sell products with shipping costs. And so if you, dr and so if you just mark up the price of this and you use Z drop to drag it over to somewhere like Poshmark or Mercari, or well, you wouldn't sell this on Poshmark, but you get the picture, copy it over to Facebook or copy it over to Mercari or something like that then it's only going to mark the price up, but you want to account for the shipping. So what I'll do is I'll tell them typically mark the price up 60 or 80%, depending on the platform and then add the shipping costs. So we'll mark it up 60%, for example, and then we'll add $5 and 15 cents to whatever that is. And that's kind of how we approach it. So this is a perfect example of someone of something that's a good buy. Now, actually, I want to show you examples of th other things that you might run into. And I know a lot of like eBay car parts, tend to have issues with this. So I want to show you some examples of that. So let's just pick a random, I don't know, car part category and we'll kind of go through some of this stuff. So we'll say, I don't know, how about, we'll go, I don't know, towing parts and accessories. And then how about towing accessories? Why not? And we'll see if any of these pop up. Again, we're going to go to the filters to filter through. Condition's going to be new in this example or new other. Uh, buying format again we won't buy it now we don't want any auctions item location we want to be close to us so i'm going to say usa only and then we apply it and now we're just going to go down the list and kind of see what looks good to us so this one kind of looks good to us right it looks like somebody took this image themselves this one also an image that looks like somebody took themselves although there is only two left and as a rule of thumb i usually say at least three or don't list it but again that's just me um, this one looks like something that somebody took themselves. Now, this one right here has made in the USA on it. I'd probably stay away from it. This one looks like a perfect example of something that somebody would sell themselves. This is an example of something that you don't want to list because another thing you need to look out for in a lot of the images is the brand. So see how this person has the brand name here, TAUS71, and that's literally the seller. Do not list something with the brand in it. A lot of times too, if you actually look at this picture, it's branded in the image and you can kind of see it. It's a little tough to see, but like, see how it's right there branded in the image. A lot of times it'll be subtle, but some of these people and some of these sellers will brand their images like that. So steer clear of it. Oftentimes too, they'll take a product picture with the brand name in the background. Like maybe they'll have like a little thing up here in the left-hand corner that says like, I don't know, Tony's auto parts. And it'll be like their business card or something like that. Again, don't list it because those people are doing that to brand their images so that nobody else can use it. For whatever reason, those types of sellers get butt hurt if other people use their product images. So in that case, if you see something like that, do not list it. That's going to lead to an IP complaint. So this one's, you know, there's only one left. We're not going to sell it. This one has 10 available. Again, it doesn't look like it has any branded image. It looks like somebody took it themselves and bam, it's perfect. So I would list this. I'd probably mark it up like 60% or 80%. And then I'd also add 1040 to the cost of it because they're shipping. But again, this is another example of something that's really good to list. So there's two pro products right there. I X'd out of the one by accident, like an idiot. 
that's two products right there. And this one actually looks semi-decent because it looks like there is a little bit of whiteness around here. But if you look close, it looks like somebody actually took the product image and they're kind of just kind of laying everything out. So this is a pretty good image that I'd use as well. Again, multiple quantity. And this one has free shipping, so you don't need to worry about adding it. So this is another example of something that you could sell as well. Let me find one more example of, okay, so this is an example of one that you'd want to avoid because again, Belgrad heavy duty truck parts. It doesn't look like that's the seller, but I would avoid this. Unless you want to copy it over and only use this image, then you could do that. That would work. Then this one looks like something that somebody took a picture of. So this one's pretty good. Let me find one example of something that's bad that you don't want to list. And you're going to see this in a lot of different categories, not just car parts. I just know it's really prevalent in car parts. That's why I wanted to use it as an example. Again, this one, USA stock, like don't list anything with text like that in the image. This one looks like somebody took it themselves. This one looks like somebody took it themselves. Even though it's on a white background, it kind of looks like it's like cardboard of some sort or like a picture background. Somebody took it clearly. This is another perfect example of something you'd want to drop ship. Looks like somebody took it themselves but it's clear enough and it's a good enough product picture that it displays what it is and that it's new, multiple quantity, so it's perfect and free shipping, we love that. Let's find, this is the, this is what I mean, right here. So this is an example of somebody that's branded their image, right? See, it says like Vegron or whatever that is. Do not list anything like this. This person might not see it, right? They might not see your listing, but it's higher risk than if you list something else because God forbid they find their listing on somewhere else. Some of them will reach out to you and ask you to take it down, but some won't and they will just report you and you don't want that. It's not worth it. So do not list anything like that. All right. 